The holidays are filled with lights on Christmas trees as well as elaborate home displays. A program here at Forsyth Tech continues to electrify students and put them on the path to a promising career. Michael Beatty reports. After the chilly raining conditions at the beginning of this week, the weather is looking good the next few days. Friday and Saturday, we can expect sunny skies here in the triad, with highs in the lows 50s and lows around freezing. Things will warm up a bit for Sunday and Monday, with mostly sunny, pleasant skies. Highs will be in the mid to upper 50s and lows in the mid 30s. With the forecast like that, Monica, it would be, it would be great to get out with the family and see a parade. And we have a few Christmas parades and holiday events to share later on the show. Thanks for that report, Monica. Oh, you are welcome. I mean, it was actually my pleasure. Miss Evelyn Terry, his granddaughter, she was a great woman. She's working diligently to renovate that home. Um, it's great. You know, it's a great story. It sounds like she's History, very History, you know, right here from Winston-Salem, Forsyth County. It sounds like she's a very interesting woman, you know. It sounds like you, she you learned is, a lot from her. She works hard. She's a state representative for North Carolina, so she's also involved in politics, and she loves to talk, and she's just a great lady. It was my excellent. pleasure. That's very excellent. The path to a high-demand career, reaching out to those who have served our country, fun holiday events for the family, and something good to eat. All this coming up on The Force Report. Stay with us. Finally, How many video game fanatics do we have out there? Chances are you live with someone or at least one member of your family that considers themselves a gamer. Ever thought about designing some of the elaborate landscapes, cinematics, or characters within these blockbuster games? Michael Ray spoke to the gentleman in charge of the digital effects and animation department right here at Forsyth Tech. Here on the As we delve deeper into winter and its cold, bitter weather, most of us will be relying heavily on our home heating systems heading into the new year. Should they fall into disrepair before winter is over, you may be calling on graduates of our next featured program. Frank Mathers took time to check out the HVAC program here at Forsyth Tech and spoke to several of the program's current students. Thanks for that report, Sean. The Student Government Council at Forsyth Tech is made up of students who are working their hardest to make the campus a fun and enjoyable place to be at Forsyth Tech. You can thank the SGC for putting on events such as Fall Festival, Constitution Day, and Spring Fling. If you are interested in becoming a member of the SCC or just would like to find out more about what it entails, you can visit forsythetech.edu and navigate to the Services for Students tab. The SGC can be found under Student Resources. Thank you, Frank. The Student Veteran Association is a proud organization at Forsyth Tech. Through the Veterans Resource Center, vets in the SVA receive a helping hand in their studies and finding jobs. Our very own Ivan King had a chance to talk with the president of the SVA, Robbie D. Lovett, about how the club benefits the vets of Forsyth Tech and the community. From the studios of Forsyth Tech, this is The Force Report. Welcome to today's edition of The Force Report. I'm Sean Killebrew. And I'm Monica Cooper. Forsyth Tech offers many top-of-the-line programs providing students with technical and artistic skills of all calibers to help students get the jobs they desire. Thank you, Frank. We will definitely need that heat during this chilly time of the year. Here at Forsyth Tech, our Broadcasting and Production Technologies program is producing the next leading broadcasters. Julian Armstrong gives us more. <laughs> 